This is Will Lindsay Otta, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed rock artist and podcast host, the one and only Madeline Kate. But before we get to our interview, here is a sneak peek at her incredible talent with her song and music video for Miss Hollywood. How are you? Madeline, I'm doing so much better now that I'm speaking with you. And I'm so excited that the audience got to see the music video for your original song, Miss Hollywood. I was telling you off camera how moved I was by it and how much I thought with my director hat literally and figuratively on, how much I thought it was such a beautiful representation of your artistry. I want to know where the idea of the creation of the song came from and then also the creation in concept for the music video. Where did that come from? Okay, so I am from a really small town, um, 5,000 people in the middle of nowhere, Indiana. Um, it's the biggest town in the county even. So it's a little rough to try to move to Nashville to pursue music. There are a lot of naysayers and some, there are also a lot of supporters, but I had a group of friends in high school that once I moved here, they, were mad. They said, you changed, which I'm like, I've met a bunch of people. I should change. I should grow. And they started talking about me behind my back. <laughs> they told me I was like a horrible person, all this. They're making all these stories up to people in the town that weren't true. Um, one of them had an ex-boyfriend that stole my dad's truck. And then she went back to him to spite me. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. So <laughs> I was I, I wasn't friends with them anymore. They kept going. They started posting on social media about me. Very Taylor Swift reputation moment. Um, so I sat down in my grandparents' living room on my Christmas break and I was feeling pretty alone. So I started writing it and I wanted to write like the character that they were making me out to be. And the Hollywood actually comes from my grandpa's cousin used to jokingly call me Hollywood anytime I came home. So I wrote that song and I wrote my like soul into it and I really became that character. The video is kind of similar to that where it shows like how much I struggled to be in Nashville, but also have the hometown roots that nobody really understands. So that's kind of where it all came together. Madeline, I absolutely love it because while watching it, I was thinking of the young Madelines of the world who finally have a North Star like you, who's so unapologetically authentic, but also not afraid to go to that vulnerable place, because I think we can all relate to being in the arts, pursuing our dreams, maybe even gaining some success, but at the same time too, coming to the point where we realize that it's the, that the naysayers, it's actually not about us. It's about them and their mm -hmm. own insecurities, jealousies, in the fact that you, instead of choosing darkness, chose to confront all of the naysayers of the world and in your world with your art. Like, no wonder it's such a beautiful piece of art because I now know, and the world now, know, now knows, this came from a very deep, dark, vulnerable place for you. Yes, and I typically, I don't like to respond online uh, because, that that shows who I am more. So I just like during that time period, instead of responding to any of this, 
I just decided this will be my response, will be my art. And I will write just, you know, maybe if a thousand people hear it, but there's one like 12 year old girl from a small town that hears it, that wants to do that, she can relate. And I love that. Oh my God, I love it too. Now you're getting me teary eyed. <laughs> Madeline, I love that. And again, I think Leonard Bernstein said it, you know, the best response to violence is art and music and the fact that you are doing that not only for yourself but all the 12 year old madeline's out there i think that's beautiful i'm curious to know madeline throughout this time obviously it's been tough for all artists all humans but especially artists i'm curious are there any songs that you wrote that you haven't released yet that you're excited to maybe talk a little bit about Yes. So in May, I'm releasing a 13 song album called Resilient. Oh my goodness. Yes. I am so excited. Talk to me. Talk to me. So the album is really, I wrote it mostly during the pandemic and it's an album about losing yourself because of mental health. And also I am a very loving person and I am from like a smaller community and it has like political aspects in it like how it feels to disagree with your family members on human rights and stuff like that and how to navigate through that um I'm very empathetic so this whole time has been hard for me like yeah. politically pandemic and just seeing how cruel people can be so there's yeah. a lot of that reflected in my songwriting and also there's a little bit of spouts of about being an independent person, but falling in love with someone and letting them see like all your mental health struggles and everything. And, but then coming back and being like, my strongest trait is I'm resilient. And I will always come back from whatever is thrown my way. Madeline, you were like, you're absolutely incredible because not only through Miss Hollywood, did you tackle, I think, so many issues that so many people, artists or not, suffer with. But the fact that you're now unapologetically going after the topic of mental health, which obviously during this time, I suffer um, you know, with mental health issues, as many people do, right? So thank yeah. you for being vulnerable, allowing me to say that as well. But the fact is too, in a time now where amazing, amazing celebrities and artists um, and athletes. I think of Simone Biles, Naomi Osaka, coming forward like you now in saying that talking about mental health is a power. It's a superpower, not a weakness. The fact that you in this 13, 13, oh my God, I'm so excited, 13 song album that we are now going to get to eavesdrop in on the ebb and flow of you stepping into your power now more than ever to not only accept love from another person, congratulations, you are engaged, right? Thank you. Yes. But lucky him, but also being able to look at yourself in the mirror and gain a newfound love for yourself. I just think it's so beautiful, Madeline. Well, thank you. I try to be vulnerable. And that takes, by the way, Madeline, and I hope all those naysayers are watching this interview because let's be honest, you know they are. Um, <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I will say to any naysayer of Madeline, Kate, take a look at yourself and do the work on yourself like Madeline has. You bet your bottom dollar it is scary to do the work. But when you do the work, you actually will choose a path of least resistance and dis-ease toward a path of beauty, light, and realizing that you're enough. And I think the people in my life, Madeline, similar to you, the people that have been the knowers mm -hmm. are those that maybe haven't stepped into their power yet, and that's their journey. But I'm so grateful that there's a light on this planet like you. Well, thank you. That's an incredible compliment. <laughs> well, like I said off camera, I'm from New York and I say it like it is. And you know- That's definitely true. <laughs> I wanna leave with this. Um, for more on the incredible Madeline Kate, you can read more about her right below this video. Madeline, final question for you. If you could give advice 
to 12 year old Madeline Kate, what would it be? Be yourself and just go for it. Like no matter what you do or who you try to be, you're going to have people that do not like it, but you don't like everybody. So why should everybody have to like you? Amen. And follow that dream, even if it's difficult, because it usually is. Amen, Madeline. Well, listen, I'm so grateful you are joining this incredible, incredible new social media platform for artists called Phoenix 360. I'm thinking about what an amazing opportunity it's going to be for you, not only in preparation of the release of this amazing album of yours in May, but also the preparation for you as an artist to continue to connect, connect with artists now all over the world. And look at, I've done 600, over 600 interviews in six months, artists all over the world with stories just like yours, transcendent universal stories, different languages, creeds, backgrounds, genders, I'm so effing thrilled, I won't curse, effing thrilled for you, Madeline, because honestly, having been in this business now for over 30 years, I you know I got my first paycheck at seven. We'll talk about that in therapy. Okay, but you are such a special talent. You, oh, thank you. Truly, and I'm so grateful that we are now connected. Me too, thank you so much.